Good morning. It's Kim. We are, we are here. We're going to do a power core workout today. It kind of looks a little bit, um, kind of looks a little bit gray behind me, but it's a beautiful morning. Okay. What we're going to use is we're going to use a ball. Yeah. Your, um, ball from Ingles that we've used several times. Also, I have a band. I have a circle band that I'm going to use, but you can use the band with handles um, if you're able to. So let's get this started. Okay, so we're going to stand nice and wide. Okay, so knees and toes, same direction. We're going to drop down, exhale up, nice and tall. Good. Exhale, shh. Inhale. And exhale, shh. Good. Whee! Good. It's a beautiful morning and everybody looks so cute. Everybody. Three. Good. And two. Good. And one. Good. Moving your arms down to the sides. You're going to reach opposite hand to opposite shoe and straighten up the other leg as much as you can. And if you don't reach the shoe, that's fine. Just reach towards the knee. Good. Eight. Woo. Seven. I feel my inner thighs from yesterday. Six. Uh -huh. Five. And four. Good. Three. Two. And one. Good. So we're going to walk our feet in toe heel. Good. We're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. So imagine that you're pulling everything up to the sky and then you're going to exhale and you're going to fold forward. Good. Good. Now we'll do that again. So you're going to round up to the sky. Exhale, fold. These are kind of like good mornings in yoga. We're just going to have a little bit more space. Exhale, down. Good. And one more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, shh. Down. And roll your shoulders back. Woo! Good. All right. Shake it all out. Let's get ready. Okay. So we're going to start with the ball. That's my ball holder. Not really, but I made it one. Okay, so the ball is going to go between your knees, but it's going to be above your knees. So between your legs, above your knees, okay? We're going to sit back like we're sitting into a chair. We're going to hold three, two, one. We're going to come up nice and tall. Send yourself forward, open up your chest, push through your hips, and again, so drop three and two and one. Exhale up, and again three and two and one and exhale up good and again three and two and one and up good three and two and one you should feel your quads you should feel your inner thighs you should feel your glutes exhale two more makes eight probably and up one more and exhale up Nice, good. Okay, so this time we're going to drop forward like we did earlier. Here, we're going to hold three counts and then we're going to slowly slide back up. So, your modification for that would be to bend forward, really press backwards. So, I'm trying to open your hamstrings if you can't reach all the way for the floor. Okay, so reach down three and two and one and slide up. Three and two and one. And again, three and two and one and up. Three, two, one, and again, three, two. Kind of like we're doing a deadlift, but we're engaging our lower abdominals and our inner thighs a little bit even more. Releasing your hamstrings to come back up. Soften your knees if this is too much with straight legs. Especially, you can feel it in your back if your hamstrings are too tight. I know it's a lot of words. One more time. Three and two and one and up three and two and one and roll your shoulders back let's take the ball out Woo! a lot of engagement so that it keeps everything on we're going to step forward alternating here to take your arms up nice and tall come back and then change sides ready so don't overthink the lunge think of it as a huge step forward creating space and we go ten beautiful nine and eight good seven good six Woo. five all that space we're creating four nice 
and three, and two, and one. Good, we're gonna take our right leg forward and our left leg back. We're gonna send the ball out, lift the back leg up. So we're making, the, kind of like we're making the letter T at the top. So exhale, we go. 10, good. And nine, nice. Eight, I'll turn a little to the side. Seven, six, good. And five, four, good. This can be done without the ball if you need to. Three, two, and one, good. You should really feel that right leg. So we're gonna take that ball, we're gonna try to get our toe to the hand to create that space in the stretch, but it's also abs. We go 10, 10. So bend your knee, nine if that hamstring's too tight, eight, and seven, and six, five, whew, four, three, two, and one. Good. So we're gonna change legs, left leg forward, right leg back. So we're gonna send the right leg back nice and long, send the arms out nice and long, and we go 10 it's a little hard to balance on the mat nine good eight so if you need to change your footing seven Woo! i might should six and five and four three good two and that's one so that left leg nice and long long arms and we go 10 good nine feel the space you're creating eight seven six five good four three two and one Woo! so good okay so we're going to do some seated exercises now so we're going to put the ball in our holder or if you don't need a holder at home maybe it's not going to roll away but mine will Okay, so we're gonna have a seat. We're gonna take our band. So remember that if you have a, you don't have a circle band, um, you could use the band with handles if you have one of those, which a lot of people do. So we're gonna take that band around the bottoms of your shoes. So you wanna make this a little bit tight. So if I have handles, I'm gonna um, shorten that and wrap it around my hands a little bit. Okay, so it's just going around the bottom of your shoe in half, yep, gabs, yep, yep, yep. All right, so from here, we're gonna come up into boat pose. We're gonna extend our legs at the same time. Try to keep your arms tight so you, it's like a leg press. 10 and in, nine and in, eight. This can be done without a band. Seven and you're still doing leg extensions. Six, good job, lots of abs. Five, four, lots of quads too. We're making this tight. Three, two, we're gonna hold out on one, good. Now, can you get your legs a little higher into that V pose? Hold on, lower abdominals, shoulders back, shoulders now away from your ears. Nice and tall, breathe, four and three and two and one. Good, come down nice and slow. We're gonna do a, a double arm row from here. So, again, same with the band. You're gonna squeeze in here, up, focusing on your upper back. If you wanna make that a little harder, we're gonna stay in the boat pose here. Don't let your legs move and pull away from it. So that's very challenging. So heels down or up, and we go. 10, good. Nine, nice. Eight, nice. Seven, you're pulling those legs. Six, and your abs have to resist. Five, so it is not easy. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, good, and bring it down. So we're gonna let that band go, just kind of reach around your shoes for a second. Say thank you to, the, to your back for Helping you make that happen. Relax your neck and shoulders. Good. Okay, so keep that band close. We're gonna get our ball again. The ball is gonna go between your knees. We're gonna lie down. Now, if you choose to use the band to make these exercises uh, more challenging, that's a good idea. But if you don't want to, that's fine also. So we're gonna take the band and it's gonna go across your hips. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the hip lifts, ball between our knees. We're gonna come up and the band is gonna be extra resistance to make this a little bit harder. So the band is optional, and we're gonna do 10 right here. 10, good. Nine, breathe. Eight, and seven, 
six, good. Five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold up on one. Now squeeze your knees together for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19 and 20. Woo! You should have felt that. So we're going to keep the resistance band or not again, oh, blah, 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 across your hips. We're going to do reverse crunches. So from here, we're going to tuck and release. So if you don't want the band, that's fine. We're still doing reverse crunches. Ready? 10. 10. Good. Exhale. 9. With that lift. 8. Good job. 7. Woo! And 6. 5. Don't forget the squeeze, four, between your knees, three, I just made a rhyme, two, right in time, one, now I'm trying too hard. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the band across your legs like so. If, if that's not okay, I meant to say, if you don't have a band, don't use one. We're gonna come up, I'm gonna press away, three, two, one, and then release. So I'm pressing away with my hands and pulling in with my knees, and the work is here, and it's also in your arms, just a little bit. All right, ready? We're gonna come up three and two and one and again nine and two and one you don't even have to raise your head if you don't want to eight two one and again seven two one Woo! six two one and again five two one tuck your chin four two one if you are three two one lifting your head two two one one more if I got the right count. One, two, one, and rest. You should really feel that here. You shouldn't feel like you strained other areas to make that happen. And if you did, make a change, okay, next time. So we're gonna lose that band for now. So we're gonna have our legs here. We're gonna take one leg parallel, keep them here. We're gonna do a one leg hip lift. If that's not okay, go back to two feet. We're gonna do 10 on each side. So we go one and drop, two, good three nice four and five six seven eight nine and ten drop we're gonna switch legs or another set with two feet down and we go ten and nine and eight seven whoo six you should feel this five four three two one and draw good we're gonna take the ball out for a second i hope your holder's close <laughs> my holder's close good we're gonna do a couple stretches for your back and for your hips after what we just did of course they're active it's active recovery so we'll be working the whole time take your right leg and cross it over your left from this position we're going to come up and release one of my favorite figure four crunches we go 10 and nine and eight good seven feel that hip stretch six while we're here and five and four three two and one good we're going to take our hands and just thread around that left leg and hug that right leg in this should feel really really good to your hip relax your neck and shoulders breathe oh the sky the clouds are starting to come out it was really super foggy now we're starting to see a little bit of clouds Ooh. So pretty, such a beautiful canvas for the day on cross. So now we're gonna be our, bring our heels together. We're gonna do those frog crunches. So what you wanna do is have your heels together. Don't worry about your toes, it's heels. Knees are open, abs are tight. We're gonna do the short crunches here. Now either stay short or we're gonna do two short crunches and we're gonna roll up on one, okay? So we go stay short or up on three it's a long way to my shoes two we're gonna only get through eight and three two or just stay down on those short ones good four two Woo. <laughs> look at that beautiful sky oh now I forgot my number Whee! that's probably four yeah five Oh yeah. Oh, I have fitness, fitness angels all around me. One and two 
and whee! Should we do one more or two more? One more. One and two and three and up. Nice. So we're going to go back down and we're going to do the figure four crunches again. So that was a really good for your inner thighs to open up. So now we're going to take the left cr crossing over the right. We're going to do those crunches. So we're up. Ten. Ten. And release. Nine. Good. Exhale. Up. Eight. And seven. And six. Woo. And five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Release your head. Throw your hands around that uh, right leg. There you go. Right leg. And just breathe. Woo. Just release that hip. Those hips, I should say. Three and two and one. So uncross. We're going to tuck and roll to seated position. Whee! Good. Okay. So we're going to get the ball back again because it's our BFF right now. BFF. Okay. So it's going to go back between your legs above your knees. So you have a couple choices here. If this is not okay for your wrists or your elbows, this is going to be your exercise here and here. Okay. If you want to add the tricep dip, you're going to be here, here and here. Okay. So we're going to do two sets of 10. So again, another challenge. Do you want to do it on one leg? I know I'm here for you. All the challenges ready. Let's go 10. Good. And nine, don't forget the triceps. Eight and seven. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rest. Come around, reach for the bottoms of your shoes for a second. Let your wrists have a little bit of a break and say thank you to your lower back. And we'll do the other side. Three, two, one. So here. Now, a common thing that people ask about tricep dips should my hands go this way or this way? This way or this way? It really is of your comfort. Uh, I go this way with my fingertips towards the inside because that feels better to my wrist. But I've had several people to say that they prefer it this way. Every body, BOD wise, put together differently. So there is there are several different ways to do that. So you choose what's best for you. We're on the other leg. So which leg of mine goes out? Right? Yeah? Left? Left. Okay, it's left. Are you ready? Let's go. I think I'm ready. Ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five so many glutes four three two one and rest. reach for your shoes so glutes hamstrings abs inner thighs triceps hello that was a lot okay so we're going to take the ball now we get a little bit of space that we're creating long legs we're going to lie down ball in hand and see if I'm going to clear that. Make sure I've got plenty of room. So create space. Really reach with your toes. Reach with your arms to create nice and long space. We're going to bring your right leg up and the arms up like so. And then switch. Or we're going to go all the way up. This may be just enough for you today. And that is okay. Or we're going to go all the way to your shoe. Three, two, one. Alternate. Ten. Good. Try to stay nice and long. Nine. As long as you can. And exhale up. Eight. Breathe. And seven. Six. Whew. This is five. And four. Whew. And three. Two more. Sweep. One more. And sweep. Good. Okay, that was our, our an active recovery exercise. Well, all right. So the ball is gonna go between your ankles or it's not. It does not have to. I want you to do what's best for you and your body. This is gonna be very strenuous for your lower back. And I say strenuous as in it's going to have to help you work. If it's too much, take the ball out, do one leg at a time or do it without the ball. Hands behind your back. We're gonna do leg drops, three counts down and then pull up on one. Okay, here's your challenge. Three and two and one and up. Three and two and one is seven. Three and two and one is six. Three, two, one. This is a lot, it's five. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, three. Three, two, one, 
two, three, two, one, and one. So, three counts down, one count up. This time we're gonna change it. One count down, three counts up. This is actually a little bit harder because you're going against, uh, you're going slow on the negative as you come up. So, be challenged. So, one goes down, down, and up. Three, two, one, and again. Seven, two, one, drop. Six, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Three, three, two, one. Two, 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 one. <laughs> one, two, one, one. I know. Counting is a science. Okay, so from here, still here or take it out if you're getting crazy. You're going in and out. Or the more parallel your legs are to the floor, the harder this is. So going in and out, lose the ball if you need to. Ready? In, 10, whoosh, nine, woo! This is eight. And tuck, seven. Remember, six, take your feet to the ceiling if you need to. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, ball in hand. So, you should have felt a lot of stabilizers in your inner thighs, a lot of abs, that added a lot. This little ball added a lot of variables to us. So, let's come on up. Whee! Woo! Big things come in small packages. Don't forget that. Don't forget that, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab your band now. We're gonna work on some posture stuff. So remember, um, if you don't have this particular band, it's completely fine. You can use our regular green bands if you have one of those or a light resistance band of any kind. I'm gonna sit Indian style to have a straight line from my tailbone to the back of my head because you wanna have nice, good posture here. This is not always what everybody feels like they can keep it straight. So if you want need to sit like this and that helps you stay straighter, that's perfectly fine. My body's not put together that way, so I'm gonna go this way. So long arms, you're gonna take your band. If you have a regular band, you're gonna have it just like this. We have circle bands, so we're gonna have it like this. We're gonna pull down and behind. Elbows come down, exhale, and up, good. So it's down, sweep, and up, good. So think about your scapula, think about the shoulders, think about how you're retracting those shoulder blades down as you come in. At the same time, you're opening up the front of your shoulders, you're opening up your chest, creating space. Two, we're gonna stay down on one. From here, we're gonna go out and in. Now, do you feel this pinch in your neck? Go in front of your face, perfectly fine. We go 10, good, and nine, good, and eight. And if you wanted to do this standing, seven, that's perfectly fine. Six, five, and four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna rotate forward and back. So it's forward and back. So my palms are facing away from me. It doesn't really matter where your palms are in this position. What you wanna think about is your shoulders and your rotators. It's really important to keep the shoulder joint and the shoulder girdle nice and healthy and strong. And this really helps us. I know, I'm counting, so I'm uh, talking so you'll forget. And in the front, <laughs> nice, we're done. So we're gonna press out, it's the same thing with the triceps again, but this time straight across. Feel the backs of your triceps, or the backs of your arms. Shoulders, we go 10, good, and nine, good. And eight, and seven, relax your neck. Six, don't let anything work up around there. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna bring that down. Woo, so did you work your upper back and into your shoulder, high shoulders and into your neck? Yes, but you don't wanna over, you don't want this to be your squeaky wheel and this talks to you the most. You want to feel it back here and in your triceps, so make sure that you're, that you're keeping this from being your squeakiest wheel, okay? All right, so we're gonna go into a bit of a boat pose here. We're gonna have the band again. We're gonna pull down, and if you wanna make it tighter, make it tighter. We're gonna pull down just the right arm. So the left arm stays straight. The right arm is gonna sweep. So you're either gonna stay here or you can come here and you're gonna extend the right arm as the right uh, right leg as the right arm comes down. We go 10, good. And nine, and eight, nice. Seven, really good. Six, and five, and four, and three, 
and two, and one. Good, arms here, knees together. We're gonna go side to side. Raise the roof, 10, nine. Put your legs down if you need to. Eight, seven, whoop, six, good. Five, uh-huh. Four, we're gonna take a break, don't worry. Three, two, one, and a little break on your back. Because at the point, you wanna to get to the point where you're really challenged, but you're not going into the stress level, especially when it comes to your lower back or your joints, okay? So we were getting to the point where it's like, okay, take a break, say thank you, reset and get back in and make the work so much more purposeful and not overuse the back, okay? Okay, Kim, whatever you say, okay. So nice and long, left arm is gonna go, 10, 10. If you wanna extend the left leg, nine and sweep, eight, it's a big sweep, seven, good, six, and five, and four, three, two, one, good, and bring it down, such a good job. Okay, you know what I forgot? I forgot the windmill arms. What? Maybe I did that on purpose. Okay, so we're gonna reset back to your boat pose. We're going side to side with those arms, yes? 10, good, nine, so this is kinda like a Russian twist, right? Eight, and swish, seven, swish, Six, good. Five, four, three, woo, two, one, bam. Nice, okay, let's let that go. Let's let that go. All right, breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, we're gonna bring your right leg up. Just kind of sit nice and tall for a second. Relax your neck and shoulders. We're gonna do a, we're gonna go ahead and do a seated spinal twist as our in-between recovery set. So take your right leg, Cross over your left. You don't have to cross your legs if you don't want to. Hug that right leg into you with your left arm. Rotate around, sit up really tall. So what I want you to do is think about what you just worked in your upper back. Don't forget that upper back. Nice and tall, spring pulls you up to the ceiling. In case you're wondering, where is Kim today? We're at the back of the um, ARC South, up on the back deck next to the training studio. So this is our view. Amazing, we're very, very, very lucky three and two and one good and we're gonna switch so left comes up cross over hug it in just take your time to get in the position nice and strong so that it's very purposeful nice and tall okay breathe don't forget about that posture don't forget about the behind that shoulder four three two and one good okay so now we're gonna go down face up we're gonna bring our ball with us. We only have a couple other, thi couple other things to do. These are pretty standard for a lot of the things that we like to do here. When I say we, I'm talking about myself. So me and all my people in my head. So we're gonna take that ball. I'm gonna do it for the sake of the camera. I'm gonna do it on my left leg first. So that ball is gonna go behind your left leg. So what you wanna to do to hold on to that ball is to really pull your heel to your glute, yes? So we're gonna be from all fours. You're gonna press up and down if you wanna make this more intense and it's okay for your shoulders. We're gonna go into plank. So extend the right leg and lift the left leg. 10 and nine and eight, good. Seven, beautiful. Six, five, here comes the sun. Four, three, two, one, good. Rest for a second. We're gonna take that same leg out to the side if you need to reset the ball if it's trying to wiggle out. Sometimes that happens. Plank or all fours. We're gonna lift out to the side for fire hydrants. Four, three, two, we go. 10 and nine, so good for your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Good. So. Put the ball away for a sec. We're gonna go onto your forearms to give your wrist a little bit of a break. I want you to take that left leg back. I want you to push the ball of your foot and lead, lead back behind you with your heel, okay? So I want you to feel the stretch in your calf. Feel the stretch behind that knee where you had to hold the ball. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Come up slowly, take that right leg and we're gonna fold it under and we're gonna slide into that pigeon which, whoo, it's just good for everything. I mean everything, 
unless it bothers your knee. If it bothers your knee, there are changes that you can make, okay? Because it is a bit of a twist. Three, two, one. Okay, let's do the other side. Let's do the other leg. So remember that ball is gonna go behind the right knee. So extend. Remember, squeeze heel to glute to hold on to it. Plank or on all four, fours, and we go back for 10. And nine, squeeze heel to glute. Eight, beautiful job. Seven and six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Woo! So we're going out to the side, fire hydrant from all fours or from that plank. It's really good for your obliques, too. Ready? Let's go. Ten, nine, open that hip. Eight, not easy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo good, let's lose that ball. So we're gonna go onto our forearms again, just to take it off of your wrist, okay? Take that right foot back. Really, really lead back with your heel. Really create that stretch and that space. This is good for the instep of your foot. Being outside, doing a lot of jumping gets that instep of your foot, get that plantar fasciitis feeling happening. Be like, no, 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 get that calf tight, nice and long. Stretch it back out, three, two, one, good. So we're gonna fold that left leg under. Oh, and then right leg slides back into that pigeon. Whee! Oh, and here comes the sun, don't sing, Kim, okay. Kim said that Kim can't sing, and Kim's right. Three, two, one, again. Good. All right, so we are actually done. We're gonna bring our heels together. We're just gonna get some nice recovery time. My shirt says Lost in Paradise and it says chill vibes on it. So I'm just thinking like chill vibes. I like that. It's really hard to find at present. <laughs> but if we look enough, we can find a little something. Yeah. All right, bring our knees together. Reach around the bottoms of your shoes. Good, tuck in, release, relax. Feel the space that you're creating in your spine, in between your vertebra. Nice and long, taking a second to breathe, to be present in our body, and to be thankful for what we have, for our health, and for our abilities. We have so many things to be thankful for. Three and two and one. Left leg is gonna go forward, we're gonna fold the right leg in. So I'm, my legs are making the letter L. The left leg is straight and the right leg's kinda of going out to the side. So be tall, yes. Keep your right hand close to you. Inhale to the sky, exhale, try to reach for your shoe. Now, the be all end all is not your shoe. It's folding forward and extending a, above your leg the length of your torso, okay? So if you're rounding to try to reach, that's, that's that's defeating the purpose. Extend your spine, extend long, and feel that space you're creating. Four and three and two and one and up. And if you notice, I had you only reach with one hand because if you reach for two, it has a tendency to have a little more back pull. So I wanted you to really focus on the length and that's why we only use one hand to reach. So inhale up, exhale fold. And again, you're folding your person Try to fold your torso forward and create space. Good. Nice and long. And if you need to wiggle around and find a little bit better place, maybe you're sitting too solidly in your hips and you want to shim shimmy around a little bit, do so. This is where you are, again, being present with your body and being mindful and being thankful and taking care of you, which is so important so that you can take care of so many others because people need people. People need people. Okay, I hope you have a fantastic day. I know I probably got a little crazy hair going on, but you know, my name is Kim. So sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. So try to get lost in paradise, even if it is at the back deck of the ARC <laughs> club, which looks like paradise, and try to find some chill vibes and hope you have a fantastic day.